Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy Brave XPS. My name is Mars. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Kefka. And before we dive into that, I want to thank everybody who responded to the post that I put out yesterday, talking about how I kind of want to change the way that I do my content. I really appreciate everybody's support. Um, I'll ask the same question here that I asked there. If you didn't answer to, to that post, let me know in the comments what favorite peace of mind that you have you know what what content piece from the meet me on mars channel was your favorite i want to know so that i can stay in touch with what you know you guys originally fell in love with because i just i want to get back to my roots and we're doing that today by looking at the kefka fight with the beauty boys accompanied by mira so this party i'm not going to get too much into builds um because i don't know the mechanics too well i want to make sure that my volume set where it needs to be um i just will tell you what i did um and kind of what i followed and so that hopefully that will give you an idea of how this fight works so first of all we're gonna have the glorious lovely Sieghard as our solo tank he's built for draw attacks and he has the safety bit equipped because i was told that there's death in this fight um and i've cleared it with death immunity in every single fight so i've never encountered death on my tank before so i'm just gonna keep it there because someone told me there's death i believe them and uh, as long as I haven't seen it, then I would say that it's working. Um, Ignis, a lot of people have asked for guides and for builds for Ignis, but honestly, his build doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure he has enough MP and MP restore passives, as well as just some decent HP and spirit. That's about it. The build on him doesn't really matter. Uh, Mira, of course, you want with some spirit for some good heals, and I put Fallen Angle so that her LB fills faster, because my Fallen Angle has the High Tide Plus, so having her LB available is helpful. Now, we're using Sabin in this fight, uh, because he gets the series boss battle buffs, which make him extra thick. Like, this boy gets so huge, and mine is already the hugest. Like, he's pretty much best in slot. I don't think you can do a better build than this against uh, Kafka, so he's absolutely built for punching with over 3,000 attack, uh, 14,000 HP, and 550 spirit. And you'll see with the in-battle buffs, he gets really, really ridiculous. Now I'm using Edgar as my breaker. You could use Locke, you could use any other breaker, really, but the reason I use Edgar is because A, he's beautiful, B, his 84% breaks are super easy to maintain, and C, because he's got a strong water imperil, which we're going to be using throughout the fight. And then a friend, Sabin, to a company who is built uh, similarly strong. The most important thing is he's got um, some Maneater equipped, as well as Diabolus for additional man killer. So the first uh, couple of fights are honestly pretty straightforward with um, with the Sabin strat. Um, now what we're doing with Seacard is we're going to cover magic with Super Wink. Um, some people will use Royal Banquet on turn one with Ignis, but I actually cook because then I have his good stuff unlocked for the following turn. And then with Mira, I do intro and a safety re-raise, just in case something goes wrong, because I can't be bothered to read an entire page of mechanics, and neither can you. Edgar's going to go ahead and Bravo Figaro for turn one, which is his good turn one break with water and earth imperil. And Sabin for turn one, they're going to do Flowing Soul to imbue water, and then Breathing Technique to give themselves triple cast. And we're basically just going to use this setup for each and every... I tap that right, right? Every once in a while I have a moment where I'm like, did I do this right? Anyways, this is going to be basically our setup for each of the three fights before God Kefka. Man, I've been playing FF6 on my stream lately, and it has been super spicy. I really, really love it. Now, I do also recommend Ailment Immunity equipped uh, to most of the party, at least, especially the tanks and your supports. Um, I don't have it equipped on Sabin because Ignis can uh, manage that for us. Now, um, what I want to do with Sabin's, uh, this is kind of crazy. We're not actually going to bother with anything complicated. We're just going to triple cast Phantom Rush, and it should be enough to kill him in one turn. Uh, but one thing that is nice to do before I do that is pop off with some bean soup with Ignis. Um, and this this is ultimately like where you'll live with Ignis, okay? Mini guide right here. Ignis's best skills are all right here. He's got ailment, immunity, and removal, LB boosting and fill, uh, elemental resistance, 50% mitigation, buffs and regens galore. And he can use his quick recipe uh, 
multicast with Royal Banquet Canapé. So if we want to sample kind of like what our stats could look like, let's look at that with Royal Banquet, which is a 200% stat buff. And then we're going to do bean soup um, so that our LB fill rate is full and it also fills a lot of LB as you can see. So let's look at our Sabins. This is... <laughs> God, those stats are so insane. I mean, his magic is almost a thousand in here, which, which mine has door potted magic, okay? Don't ask me why I had a senior mo Well, it wasn't even a senior moment. I'm, j I'm just bored, okay? I want to pot his magic. He's Sabin, okay? He deserves it. 20,000 HP, almost 4,000 attack, over 1,000 defense, over 1,300 spirit, and almost 1,000 MP. Like, forget about it. This, Sab this Sabin is ab absolutely going to crap on this, this part of the boss. Yep, easy peasy. So that's phase one, and we're basically just going to copy that for each of the following phases for the next three. I think the third one may survive a triple, a triple chain, which is fine. It's not a big deal. So we'll just basically reset what we did that first turn. So Ignis can go ahead and cook. We're going to get cover cook, break, buffs. And then Sabin can do Flowing Soul for Water Imbue, and then Breathing Technique for T-Cast. T-Cast and uh, Stat Buffs, I think is what it provides, Flowing Soul. Is that what it does? See, I don't even check, I just know. Boost damage of abilities and give triple blitz, yep, and it restores HP. So, we're gonna do that for turn one. It's a good thing that both my Sabins have like a thousand MP, because he goes through it quite a bit. Now, of course, you can use any magic tank in here. I'm using C-Card because he's the prettiest. Um, but realistically, you could use anybody. And another thing is that the tank check can be difficult in here, so if you're not sure about surviving the tank check, um, you can always run a double tank strat. That's not a big deal either. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use dual cast Kiraja just to top off C-Card. Um, because, yeah, we're going into the next fight after this, because the T-Cast is going to do more than enough damage. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom and phantom 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 all right i try my best to spark chain manually but i don't always get it easy two turned bye the music in this is so cool the the, the thing i don't like about commentary videos and i'll say this is why i do a lot of the ones without commentaries because i just freaking love the music i'm very much a music guy it's kind of my jam so if there's a chance for me to show off music, I always try to make sure that it's it's like part of the experience. All right, so we're just doing the same setup we've been doing before. So we don't need to do anything else. It's, it's just that easy with uh, with our boy Sabin. And of course you can use better damage dealers if you want, because Sabin is by no means, you know, the best damage dealer in the game or the newest one or whatever. He's just uh, my favorite and he has a real good moment to shine in here because he is really, really strong. Um, aside from, you know, the, the series boss battle buffs, he is just a really, really good damage dealer. So, yep. Ooh, Seagard! Oh, that was really close. Man, he almost got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, see, you you know, anybody else might actually lose their tank doing that. Um, my Seagard's spirit, I don't think is actually that high. It's only, uh, 1114. His HP is pretty high, but, um, yeah, I mean, Charlotte may do a better job of surviving and tanking that, but... I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about that. Uh, we're gonna Kiraja to make sure that he's topped off, and we're gonna re-raise to make sure that he doesn't die. Um, oh man, that heal was fat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try and T-cast, burst this guy down. I think I've tried it before and it didn't quite work, but we're gonna go for it anyways. I don't care. Um, Ignis with the bigness, he's gonna go ahead and do big stat buffs. I actually think um, their their cooldown skill gives them... No, their cooldown skill doesn't give it... Wait, hold on, let me look at mine. Yeah, if I use Ignis's buff, it'll be a better buff than whatever Sabin's is. I don't. I forget the percentage, but uh, this will be better off this way. I'm going to go ahead and throw up mitigation just in case the boss survives this turn. Ugh, oh, I'm so bad. So bad at chaining. Oh, this will get him easy. <laughs> I don't know why I was worried. I really don't. Easy clap. All right, now we get to fight the real boss. So sorry if there are any mechanics back there in those other fights that uh, I didn't introduce you to, but basically draw attacks or provoke with magic cover. It's gonna handle most of the mechanics in this fight. All right, 
So first things first, you get Gravigud, which is actually really nice for Sabin because that activates his super strong limit burst. So this turn I'm actually gonna just limit burst with him um, because it's a free LB basically. I know he's not imbued or imperiled, so it's not gonna do as much damage as it could do, but uh, it's okay. Oh, this may actually end up breaking the chain because of Edgar, but it's fine. Oh yeah, get in there. See, for some free damage, it's really not bad. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook with Ignis, and we're gonna cover with Seagard. Oh, that's the wrong cover. That would have been really amusing. Super wink. And then we're gonna use um, Lakshmi for a full heal. Cost no MP. And uh, gets you an Esper summon. In fact, I don't even remember what the missions are. I should probably check. Uh, 20 turns, defeat him with a limit burst and use no more than 5 items. So those are pretty easy, honestly. And with Sabin, the odds are pretty high that you're going to beat him with a limit burst. Now Kefka does do counters, um, so you just have to be aware of that, because you get a bleed effect on your party, and then he'll, he'll, uh, he'll counter you, and so you don't want to leave your party members at low HP, because that can be real, real bad. Now the Sabins also got blinded and silenced this turn. Luckily they didn't get confused. We can just remove all of that with Mira, which is great. She'll get rid of the breaks too. It applies a heal and an MP refresh as well. Ignis is going to apply a buff for ailments as well as 50% uh, damage mitigation. Seagard could do the mitigation as well, um, but I guess he doesn't really have to now. You can just defend and look pretty. Now, Edgar, we're going to go ahead and do Awkward Inventor, just because um, it provides a limit burst buff to the entire party, and we didn't get to activate Ignis's yet. And for Sabin, we're going to do the same sort of thing we were doing, where we do Flowing Soul and Breathing Technique, um, but the thing we're going to do differently is instead of Chain, we're going to Soul Spiral. Now what Soul Spiral does is it takes Sabin's HP to 1, and it is a little bit risky. I've, I've had this backfire on me before. It also AoE heals the party, so only one of the Sabins is going to be at 1 HP um, at the end of this, but Mira's regen should handle it. My Sabin is tougher, so I'm going to activate um, Luz first, and it's just more HPs. Um, oh, why did that heal him? I'm confused. Why did he get healed from that? He's not supposed to. Watch, mine's magically not going to get... Oh, okay. Well, I guess he's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure why that healed him. Maybe somebody who knows Sabin better than I do uh, could explain why he got healed. It's supposed to leave his HP at 1. It could be one of the other cooldowns. Actually, you know what? I know what it is. It is one of the cooldowns that I used um, that, that healed them as they damaged themselves. So that's a tricky trick that I just learned. Now we want to use Sabin Limit Bursts, and uh, for that, we got to use the Bean Soup. So the Limit Bursts are buffed this turn because their HP dropped below 20% last turn. With Edgar, we're going to use Critical Call for an Attack Magic Break, and we're going to use Trifecta Drill for a Water Imperil. I could use Bravo Figaro for a Water Imperil, but uh, I may as well use something that's not on cooldown and go ahead and chain these boys up. I really missed using Sabin, I'm not gonna lie. He does really, really excellent damage. I'm just, I'm, I just love him, okay? He's just so good. Now, I'm gonna make sure that I've got some resist buffs up and some stuffs, and Seaguard doesn't really have anything he needs to do. I mean, he can go ahead and provoke just so that he has some extra mitigation up for physical attacks, because why not? Now the counterattacks really don't hurt, especially because my Sabins have like a bajillion HP. Oh, please no. God damn it. Of course I had to say something. I had to say something about how smoothly it was going. Uh, when you cross a threshold, he does do that gravity attack, which is kind of ouchy. If you have a re-raise or a barrier, you can work around it. In this case, you're just going to get to see what it looks like when I goof, and uh, we just work through it. That's the way it goes. Okay, got some heals on everyone. Uh, this is gonna be cover turn for Seacard. Ignis with the bigness, he's gonna bring some mitigation because we need it and some ailment immunity because my Sabin that just got raised does not have it. Edgar's, Edgar's gonna bring fat breaks so that uh, we uh, are less likely to die. And this Sabin 
is just going to do some chip damage for LB fill and a little bit of, actually, you know what he can do? He can just heal instead because we're not topped and I would prefer to be topped. So we can just triple chakra and top C card whose HP is the lowest. At least I think we can top him. There we go. That's what you get. How much spirit does this Saban have? Yeah, a thousand spirit. Okay. 1100 spirit. He's basically just another healer when you need him. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I gotta remember to just make sure I have those barriers or re-rays available for those threshold attacks, but if you don't, as you can see, it's honestly not hard to recover um, at all. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and provoke with you. Ignis has to refresh cooking this turn, probably. Yeah, we're gonna refresh it this turn because this turn we have to prep the limit bursts anyways with our uh, Sabins. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply, let's see, I think, yeah, I'm gonna apply these again, the break and the water in peril, and then we're gonna go ahead and double, and it's gonna be flowing soul and breathing technique. Do You can do triple for fun. It's gonna be uh, flowing soul breathing technique, and you can just phantom rush just for some LB crystals. And then I'm gonna have Mira go ahead and keep her song rotation up. Uh, just because that keeps some barriers up, and that keeps some heals up, and that keeps some MP up. Easy. Chip damage. We've got a bunch of full LBs. The problem though is that uh, none of the Sabins dropped HP, so that's that's too bad. Now I didn't really build Seek Hard for any elemental resistance in particular. Maybe I'm supposed to, or maybe it's a good idea. But, I mean, he's fine. <laughs> he's not really taking much notable damage. Um, let's see. I don't like that my Sabin's broken. How many, which breaks? Oh, it's like all of them. Uh, even broken, he still has really amazing stats, so I'm actually not going to worry about it. Um, this turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Soul Spiral and Phantom Rush, so that it triggers the upgraded LB for next turn. So Soul Spiral, Phantom Rush, and when you're using Sabin, you want to use Soul Spiral uh, before you use your healing abilities so that he has some HPs uh, going into stuff, and you also want to use any other LBs so that you can generate crystals. This is really good damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think 49 is the threshold. We may have literally just walked up to it. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. <laughs> Ugh, my life. So it goes. C'est la vie. Um, just in case, we are going to do outro with you, because I think that grants a barrier. Yes, it does. And we're going to activate re-raise just as a little extra measure of security. And then Seaguard doesn't have to do anything, so we're going to just look at how beautiful he is real quick. Look at how beautiful he is. It's funny, because every time I'm like, man, I should pull for Warrior of Light, I just remind myself of how pretty Seaguard is. And, and then I change my mind. Okie dokie, let's see how this goes. Yeah, we did, I think we did push the threshold, so this is actually a free turn, which is nice, but I, I guess we don't really need the free turn, because we're just prepped to do damage. We're going to pop uh, Monk, Sabin, Sabin, Monk, Sabin Occult, Limit Bursts, and I think the Water Imperil has worn off, so we're going to use Bravo Figaro to go ahead and put 100% Water Imperil up. Uh, if you use Lock as your breaker, you can get a better Water Imperil, uh, but then you wouldn't be using Edgar, which, you know, I mean, why would you do that? Now the boss does have mitigation up, so we're not going to be doing as much damage as we were, but it's fine. It's fine, we're in no rush, the boss is not that scary, he's not doing anything to us. Magic cover again with Z-Guard, and then Ignis with the bigness. Um, he's gonna provide us the bean soup, and I don't think we need mitigation. So we're just gonna go ahead and do um, big boy buffs. And Mira is gonna go ahead and keep her songs going. I know I kinda let it drop for a turn, but so it goes. My Sabin is still broken, which makes me sad, because uh, you know I like him to have the biggest stats possible, but he'll just have to learn to make do. Okay, here's another gravity, so hopefully the barriers or the re-rays save us. Ooh! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it's 250 damage fixed attack, so the Sabin at 1 HP could have been clapped. 
but uh, he's fine. Okay, so this is great because guess what? The Sabins are under 21 uh, or 20 percent HP, so we get to use their limit bursts buffed again. But we got to do the bean soup to provide it. Um, see, so we're gonna keep the ailments away. That should be enough. Yep, man, that just feels so much. It feels a crazy amount of LB. It's insane. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and fire all of these off so that when they generate crystals, um, they can go to the people who just use their LBs, who care about their LBs the most. So as you'll see, Edgar will refill his LB, both of the Sabins. So did we just kill him? Oh my goodness. I did not think we were going to kill him. Anyways, Edgar's LB is already full, as you can see. What a madman. Anyways, uh, that's how you 8-turn Kefka with an ancient damage dealer. Actually, he's not that ancient, but Sabin's pretty good in there. Um... So that's pretty much how I did it. I know that if you go below the last threshold, which I can't remember if it's like 30% or 10% or whatever, he's, Kefka starts getting pretty dangerous. Uh, so you wanna linger in that zone as little as possible. If you've got some good burst, that's when you wanna bring it out. That's when you wanna uh, hit him as hard as you can. And that turn, we just uh, accidentally bursted him harder than I thought we would, cause Sabin is a baller. So anyways, that pretty much covers kind of a more normal strat of how, this This was basically the party that I ran for my first clear. And then I did the Furion one later that you guys saw, you know, on the video that I did last week. So, you know, I wanted you guys to see something a little more conventional and a little more my style. Um, we had a whole party of a bunch of beautiful men and I honestly wouldn't have had it any other way so thanks you guys so much for tuning in for this video uh let me know down below in the comments instead of what you'd like to see next time i want to know what you have loved to see in the past and i want to really get back at what i love about this game more than anything else which is playing the game forget about the gotcha figure out the cool stuff with the off meta units and the creative strats tell me your favorites down in the comments below and i'll see everybody in the next video Call